Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taylor. Hi, I am so happy to have you here. Today is Thursday, it's August 10th. Um, tomorrow, bright and early, we fly to Nashville, Tennessee for a wedding this weekend. Um, it's one of Dan's family friends getting married. Super excited to go to Nashville. I've never gone to Nashville. For. It's around 3.30 on Thursday, which means just like in super typical Taylor fashion, I am not at all packed, not at all ready, have like errands to run, I'm getting my hair done in like 10 minutes, like I just like have things to do. So I figured there's no better time to start a vlog and hang out with you guys and just take you guys along for the ride. So welcome to my travel with me for 48 hours in Nashville together. I'm gonna get ready and go leave pretty much in two minutes to go get my hair done. Um, I never, I talked about this in my last vlog, but I did like a hair glaze to my hair and I thought it was going to tone down my blonde, but really it just made me have like, you can kind of see it, kind of like a reddish tint to my hair, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I'm gonna go get that toned down right now and just take any red and brassiness out of my hair. My dress is like a darker blue, which all you guys will see later in the video. So I just like really don't feel like dealing with that in the red. So I'm going to get my hair done and toned now. And then I have to go to Abercrombie. I have to go to Target. I'm sure there's more things that I can think of, but I figured that I would take you guys along with me for not only prepping to travel, but also Nashville itself. And let's spend the weekend together. Okay, so I am changing and getting into a workout set right now because i have to go walk to this hair appointment since stan has the car today and it's about like a half hour walk it's like 3 30 right now my appointment's at 4 which means i really have to leave and get out of here but that is so besides the point so i have to go change for that and then i will leave and get my hair done which i'm really excited about because i literally called the salon today and i said like <laughs> i was like hey do you guys do toning and like how much is it and they told me and I was like, okay, cool. Like, I'm probably going to schedule an appointment with you guys soon in like the next few weeks. And I hung up. And then I was like looking at my hair more in the mirror. And I called them right back. And I was like, so this might be crazy, but do you guys have availability this afternoon? And thank God the guy was like, yeah, yeah. Like, just a tone. Like, come on in. So that ended up working so well in my favor. I'm going to go do that right now and change. And then I'll be right back. I'm not doing anything crazy. Hello, focus, please. Okay, I just changed into really just like navy leggings and then this white tank top and this shirt because I don't need to wear anything crazy. So now I have to go and head over there. It's like a half an hour walk. I really don't feel like walking, but and I have to bring my laptop because I'm still on the clock, but whatever. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, guys, I am back and I got my hair completely toned down and I feel like you can definitely tell a difference like it's for sure just like good chocolate brunette now and it's not at all red so I am very very happy I think that like this color will eventually kind of wash out and you'll be able to see like I, ha I do have like some little highlights in there and you'll be able to see them more I did that I'm happy with it I think it's gonna look a lot better with the dress it does make me look a little bit more pale which I'm not thrilled about but what can you do um i'm in santa monica now and i have to pick up an order from abercrombie and then go to target so those are next on my list of things to do tonight still completely not packed and i have to wake up at like 5 a.m tomorrow but i'm not gonna think about that right now and i'm just going to focus on the next task at hand <laughs> Today 
of breath. I need the air on a little bit. I just got back from going to Abercrombie and Target. Um, I didn't get anything crazy. Abercrombie, I'm not going to show you because I did like an in-store order like pickup. So like it's still like wrapped up in like the delivery packaging. But from Target, I needed to get sticky boobs for the dress that I'm wearing to the wedding this weekend. I've literally been using this brand since freshman year of college, senior year of high school. I don't even remember how long. Um, I've used these forever. You get them at Target, they're like 20 bucks, and they're amazing, I love them. So I had to pick up one of these. And then you guys know me by now, you know that I pretty much always have to get a snack whenever I'm running errands. So for my snack, I got crackers, turkey, and cheese, which I am beyond excited for. Got up here on my hands. Santa Monica was popping off today. Um, there was just a lot of interesting people. The minute I stepped into Santa Monica, I saw an entire homeless man's area. So that was a fun experience. I literally felt like I was on Omegle um, back in 2010. I am starving and I'm very excited to eat these. Nothing I love more than cheese and crackers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is so freaking. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna go home. We need to eat dinner. It's almost seven now. Um I'm gonna pack and then I'll probably show you guys a little bit of my night before I call it. Alright, I'm in the middle of packing right now and I'm using these new packing cubes. So I will Definitely let you guys know how they turn out. So far, they're fitting quite a bit, and I'm overpacking on purpose to test them for Italy. We are officially in Nashville. So I haven't been able to talk to you guys yet because this morning we were up at literally the ass crack of dawn to go catch our flight and we've been flying all day and we got to the hotel, we're starving and now I am just chilling in the hotel room while Dan does groomsman duty. It's been a long day. I'm a little tired, I'm not gonna lie, but so far it's beautiful and sunny. And I've pretty much spent most of my afternoon laying in bed and crying because I finished Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren and oh my god, <sighs> I was not expecting that book to end the way that it did, but it was an amazing book. Five out of five for me. You guys should definitely read it. It's definitely up there in like my top favorites. I know a few months ago I put out a video and I was talking about how I'm like trying to get more into romance books and previously before that I was like solely a thriller mystery girl. Well, I've been fully converted. I am a hopeless romantic now and <laughs> these books just go to prove that. I'm gonna start getting ready soon. We have the rehearsal dinner in like an hour or two. Um, Dan should be back by then. And then tonight I'm doing game night with the bride and her bridal party, which was very nice and fun. I'm hoping that tomorrow we will go explore a little bit more of like the town in the area. I think we have most of the morning free, so I would like to go down to downtown if we can and kind of explore that. My hair is a lot. I don't know why. I feel like it's gotten darker since I showed you guys last. I don't know if it was like just the lighting, but it definitely is just like back to the normal brown, which is fine. I'm happy with it. I like it just so much better than like the auburn color that it was, but I'm definitely like not used to seeing myself with this dark of hair right now. I'm going to go read a bit more. I've just like washed my face, put so much moisturizer on because I feel like my skin just freaks out whenever it's in an airplane and on top of that I'm getting my period next week so my skin's been breaking out pretty bad um so I'm gonna try to cover that up I'm probably gonna get ready in a little bit I think I'm gonna do a TikTok of getting ready tonight and then tomorrow I will um actually sit down with you guys and 
walk you through everything I do for like a full beat glam look which will be fun because I love doing my makeup for special events. Here I give you guys just a very quick room tour. Our room is very nice but definitely nothing crazy special. You walk down this hallway and here's the bathroom. It's pretty status quo. I definitely have to take a shower tonight so that is on the agenda and then here is just the bedroom slash like they have like a little couch space tv over here um one thing about me is that i am not the type of person who keeps their hotel room clean i obviously will never trash a hotel room but i feel like i'm so anal about my living space at home that like when i do go to a hotel it just feels good to like leave my suitcase scattered like leave clothes laying around whatever so that always feels good to do i'm gonna kind of hang out some more until i start getting ready and then i will obviously show you guys the final look before we go to the rehearsal dinner tonight um and then yeah i'll take you through my entire full glam look tomorrow and i'll try to share little snippets of tonight as well other than that i'm hoping that tomorrow we will go explore more um see more of like actual nashville we're kind of in like a little suburb north of nashville right now and honestly just like experience some of it one thing i am definitely not used to like now that i'm so acclimated to living in la is just like how green everything is so like i just want to be outside and like see that and i'm hoping that even though i'm on california time right now that tomorrow i will be able to wake up early enough to kind of just like enjoy a nice morning outside before it gets too hot out so that's my plan i will talk to you guys in a little bit if not i'll definitely talk to you guys tomorrow and i will try to show you more of what we're up to it's raining good morning okay so it is saturday it's not morning anymore it's afternoon but it's saturday and i am going to start getting ready for the wedding i just completely curled my entire head so i think i want to get ready and then i think i want to try to do like this hairstyle where you like tuck it behind your ears and like tie it behind so we're gonna try that but i figured that i would take you guys along for an entire get ready with me although i have no mirror i'm gonna do it entirely in like this little camera let me say, I actually do. I have like a little mirror, but it's really not gonna do. Yeah, no, it's really not gonna do anything. We're gonna give it our best shot. And I think it's been a second. I haven't done a full, like a full wedding glam look in a minute. So I wanna show you guys what I do, what products I use. It's nothing too different from what I normally do. But I figured, why not hang out, do it together. Dan is getting ready with the groomsmen. I'm meeting some of the girlfriends down in about an hour. So I'm going to take you guys through my routine. I just changed into this cute little robe that my sister-in-law had got me for her wedding when I was a bridesmaid. So now I'm officially going to start makeup. I just put some moisturizer on my face and I'm going to clip back my hair. I have no idea what I'm doing yet, but we're going to figure it out together. And I'm probably going to have to redo those pieces of my hair to start off. I like doing setting spray first. Then we are gonna go in just a little bit with this e.l.f. Woe Glow, no, e.l.f. Halo Glow. Oh my God, there's so many glows these days. I really can't keep up. Just a little, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to use this stuff. I'm really not doing anything crazy with this. Blend it out. My skin has been absolutely freaking out this entire trip, which I'm not thrilled about, but it happens. And then going in with the trio that we all know and love, nothing different. These three, you guys know this. I'm not even gonna, gonna explain what they are because it really shouldn't be a surprise at this point, but always gotta wear sunscreen. It was thunderstorming all morning this morning. I'm talking like bad thunderstorms like i haven't seen a good thunderstorm in a really long time so i was thrilled i was upset for the bride because obviously you don't want it to rain on your wedding day thankfully though it just got so nice and sunny out which is perfect in time for the wedding so i'm beyond happy about that so we woke up this morning we slept in so late we slept until like almost 10 15 which is just not like us at all but in our defense we literally did not go to bed until 2.30 in the morning last night, but we slept until 10.15 and then 
we woke up we hung out a little bit and we wanted to get breakfast so we went to this place called ruby's cafe or no i think it was ruby's kitchen it was like five minutes down the road and got pancakes eggs bacon like the whole nine and dan got biscuits and gravy and they were so 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 good southern food is seriously no joke you guys like i could never live in the true south because i have no self-control when it comes to food and i would just pretty much eat my way through the state but it's so good i had hot chicken salad yesterday for the first time and that was amazing and mac and cheese here is just so bomb it's my favorite thing ever next we do concealer for every day i just use like one shade of concealer everywhere but for more special events i do want my under eyes to be nice and bright right here in the corners so i do a very very light like universal eye brightening shade and then i'll go with my regular shade and just kind of cover up the regular spots that i normally would although today there are so many because i'm about to get my period next week and between that flying ugh, my skin is just hating me so bad that is the current status of what's going on i like to do these like little lines under my cheekbones i think they give it some more structure when i blend out i think i said this before in a youtube video but i'm not entirely sure but i heard somewhere i don't remember where it could have been tiktok most likely was tiktok that you should dampen your beauty sponge with setting spray instead of water which like i don't know exactly what it does but why not i mean i don't think it's gonna hurt me so that's what i've done for quite a long time i would probably say a few years now i'm not entirely sure if it makes it stay longer but i would like to think it makes it stay longer mine and dan's eyes both this morning when we woke up were so so bloodshot and I swear you guys, if you guys don't have the Lumify drops for like events, honestly I use them almost every day, but really really events when like you're staying up late, you have things to do the next day, they are such a game changer. My eyes were just hard this morning and I put one drop in each eye and I mean they look like it looks like I got a full eight hours of sleep. So I highly highly recommend those. One thing about me is that I am a makeup on the ground type of girl. More times than not I am doing my makeup in a very very small mirror and that's because the lighting in my bathroom is just such trash. It really is. I hate it. Now we're gonna do some bronzing stuff. So you guys I use the same thing I always do. It's the, the Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I love this stuff. It works so well too. It's like a nice cool tone, so it just like is like the perfect contour I feel like. It doesn't look cool in the video. But in real life it's a cool tone. We're only in Nashville for 48 hours. I don't know why I thought when we booked this trip that we were leaving like in the middle of the week, but we literally left on Friday. So we're only here for 48 hours, which doesn't give us too too much time to explore, especially because majority of what we're doing here is wedding stuff for Dan's friend. But I'm really hoping that tomorrow our flight isn't until 7 p.m. That we can kind of get downtown and go explore. Okay, I feel like that is definitely pretty bronzed. I'm gonna probably add a little bit more concealer right there. My dress is bright blue, you guys. I'm so excited. You can see a little sneak peek back there. Definitely not a color that I would normally wear, but trying something new. I got it for literally $40 off of Amazon. I'll have the link in my storefront if you guys want to check it out. It's such a perfect dress and it comes in a bunch of different colors too. So it's like you can get whatever color you need for the season. This is definitely a summer color for sure, but I have two weddings coming up at the end of September and I think that I am going to get it in like an olive green color that it comes in because i think it's really beautiful and wear it for those weddings as well because it's just like such a good staple dress i'm someone i'm pretty simple when it comes to fashion like i don't love trends i love more like timeless simple modern um looks and styles so i definitely think it fits that genre and it just the color is stellar, I will say, but that was my favorite blush by Merit. I love this stuff. And, and then I feel like I just spoke so much about how I don't really use powder products, but I'm going in with the powder blush because I feel like blush is the first thing to fall off my face and putting a powder blush on like kind of just mattifies it down to my face. It makes it stay on a little bit longer, so I'm just layering on top of that. Like I said, I really don't know exactly what makeup look I'm going for. I have like three different like techniques in my head. I have like my everyday super quick i have like date night a little bit heavier like want some more full coverage and then i have glam 
and that's pretty much like the cycle that runs through my head depending on what I'm doing like I know what products to reach for but when it comes to like anything outside of that like how I want my eyes to look like hair things of that sort yeah I really don't know I kind of just wing it I'm not like one of those girls that has like a full vision in her head I wish I was but like, I really just truly really don't know makeup another thing about me um, I try to pretend like I do, but I really don't so I think what I'm going to do is do translucent powder now And then I'm going to go in with highlighter on top of that because I guess I don't want to wipe away the highlighter I don't really know, but that's what we're gonna do I use the sponge to kind of target the areas that I want to be the most concentrated like my under eyes on my chin and then everywhere else I will sweep with a brush and we have a pretty exciting fall coming up, which I'm very thrilled about we have our two-week trip in September. I'm going to be in New Jersey for the last two weeks of September. I'm seeing my favorite band, Aunt Joy, with my two best friends. That also, it's their favorite band too, so I can't wait to do that. I have a wedding in Chicago, a wedding in New Jersey. Then we patiently wait on the arrival for our puppy. And when we can get him, which is just going to be a literal dream come true. I think I've been talking about getting a dog and wanting a dog my entire life. But like really, within these past two years, I've just been thinking about it constantly and like I feel like now I'm finally ready to fully pull the trigger on that. Puppy is coming soon and then yeah we're hopefully going to be thinking about next steps in our lives and making some moves and where we want to live, where we want to move to, if we want to stay in LA longer or come back to the east coast where we would want to be on the east coast. I'm just ready like I honestly feel like I'm ready for a change. I feel like I'm someone that always says that I hate change and then once i've been like not complacent but like i've been in los angeles for two and a half years now going on three like i'm just ready for something different so very excited about all of that and i'm trying so hard to not like wish that it will come sooner because i want to li obviously live in the moment and appreciate the time that i have here in california appreciate the fact that it is just me and Dan right now and after we get this dog it probably won't ever be just me and Dan again. We'll always have pets, kids along the way, like things like that. So I'm trying to really be present and know that I have huge changes in my life coming down the road in the next few years. Eyebrows are done. Guys, I still use eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows and I know that's not like a terrible thing but I feel like I could just do better. So if you have any recommendations on what you use for your eyebrows, please drop them below because I always do like eyeshadow and then like stick it up with a little bit of gel. Please, please, please let me know what you do. Because now I just go in with the e.l.f. wow brow and I just help to stick them up and keep them in place. But I'm not like, I mean I love this stuff, don't get me wrong, but I always have to pair it with something for the most part. So it would be nice to find a product that just kind of does both and takes care of the whole process for me. That is my base. It looks a little bit lighter right now. It's just the lighting. Let me see if I move back. That is the base. It's still fairly natural. I'm never going to be someone that does like a full heavy beat, with, but that's pretty much what I do. And now I'm just going to set my face again. This is the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. I've used this stuff for years and I've loved it. I've never used anything else. Okay, moving on. On to eyes. I honestly am not a huge eye makeup person just because I feel like I feel like I'm the type of person where like when I wear too much makeup like it just looks weird on me and I hate that but it is what it is. So I think for eyes I'm going to go pretty simple and just do some eyeliner like a smudged wing on top and then just really go in with the mascara because I feel like when I do eyeliner like all the way around my eye I just look it makes my eyes look so much smaller and it just looks a little bit too intense. I really do need to get like a travel mirror. That has to be purchased immediately. I do like a really thick line that looks crazy at first, but I promise that I blend it out and it blends out really nicely. Okay, now for my favorite part is just smudging this out. Did I just do like a pretty good wing? I don't know. I have never been able to do a wing ever in my life. So if someone can please let me know of a really easy tutorial or like just a technique that I can do. I, like I've tried so many times and I cannot do one. I'm gonna put just some translucent powder on my lids so that the eyeliner doesn't transfer at all. 
Oh, guys, I forgot my highlighter. I have this brush. I literally couldn't tell you if this is the actual brush she used, and I'm almost certain that it's not. Uh, it just says fan brush on the handle, but it's actually a highlighter brush. Just a little. Nothing crazy. There we go. Now, for mascara, I just got new mascara. This Colossal Lash from Maybelline that I always use, and then I recently got this one in the mail from Benefit. It's the Fan Fest. Um, I... Don't know how I feel about this one just yet, but this one I love. I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to put a layer on and then I'll try to like let it sit for a little bit and not touch it so it gets tacky and like stuck to the lash. And then I'll try and do my next layer. That's layer one. Six more layers to go. <laughs> Here we go. That actually worked so much better than yesterday. Yesterday I was struggling with my lashes. I also have to go so slow because I already did my eyeliner So I'm really trying not to get mascara like over my entire eye I'll do one coat of this one and then I'll do my under lashes with it my lower lashes my under lashes when I put Mascara on my lower lashes. I really don't want to do too much um, I don't want them to look spidery So all I really do is just put the brush to my lash line and then I blink a little bit and then it gets just a little bit on without it being crazy looking. All I need to do left is finish my eyeliner in the corners of my eyes, do my hair, and get changed. So I would say I'm making pretty good time. I think my mascara is dry enough, so now I'm just going to go in and do... I like to do my eyeliner right in the upper corner of my eye. I just feel like it defines it a bit more. I feel like if I do my whole waterline, it just ends up looking way too intense. But this, I think, is like a perfect compromise. So... Now I'm going to take out these. All right, thankfully they didn't crease my hair too much. And we'll move into the last part, which is the lip, which brings the whole thing together. It's crazy to think that a few years ago, I used to literally never wear a lip. Like I would never do lip liner and I would just do like a clear gloss or like, you know, a pinky mauve gloss. But now I feel like I can't go anywhere without doing like a full lip. And you know what we're using. I talked about this in my most recent Get Ready With Me. But I'm absolutely loving this lip stain for summer. I don't know why I always try to speak when I do this. I love this stuff. And then go in with a clear gloss. I'm going with Ro the Road Peptide Glaze. But I don't love this stuff, you guys. I think it's just okay. I like the consistency of it, I will say. But mine's like grainy. That is pretty much the final look. I feel like I am going to let it marinate a little bit and then like I'll touch up any spots that I need to but that's my summer like go-to glam look when I do need to wear just a little bit more makeup than usual. So that is what I do. I love how it looks. I love how it came out. It still looks like me. I still feel like me. Just a slightly more dressed up version. So I'm going to go do my hair. I will see you guys in a few. in the morning we literally just got home i don't think i've ever been so tired in my entire life so i'm going to force myself to take a shower and then get into bed and i'm so excited dan is downstairs right now getting us ramen and i will talk to you guys in the morning hi guys <clears throat> oh my god i came and speak it is sunday and we are getting ready to check out of the hotel and go to brunch with the bride and groom's family. Um, it's like 11, it's almost 12 o'clock and we literally slept until 11. So I'm friggin' exhausted. But yeah, our flight is not until seven tonight. So we're gonna go to brunch and then try to go explore downtown a little bit and just like see the sights and stuff because we haven't seen any of Nashville yet. So that's the plan. The wedding was so much fun. I tried to take a few clips in the beginning, but by the end, you guys know how it gets, so. I will see you guys in a little bit.
our ride right now to the airport and I am just so exhausted you guys like I really can't handle it.